everyone come out on this chilly night. <laughs> you know, I was thinking about faith and I was thinking about what my grandmother taught me as a child. Her attitude about everything was, we have lessons in life and the lessons are coming. And she always said to me, you know, we have our free will, but we also have destiny. Destiny we have in our lives, where we have the lessons we've chosen as souls to produce and look at and work with and grow from. And we've all come here to grow. And I've always had faith that we got plenty of lessons. <laughs> and I've always had faith that not only do we have plenty of lessons, but we're creators. And in the middle of creating, are we creating a harmonious answer to our lessons in life? Or are we looking at lessons in life by trying to escape them? Or not like the outcome and try to push them away? You know, I read for people all the time and I find it interesting how much effort and energy is put into pushing things away. When in reality, we've chosen to learn from them. Now, I'm not saying here in the conscious body we accept listening to them and learning from them. But on a spirit level, we've chosen that pathway. And if we look at things in that manner and we realize in ourselves that that pathway is so important to recognize in ourselves that that's the pathway we've chosen. And if we can look at that from a soul level and not just a conscious basis, we're going to bring to us the lessons in a much easier manner. You know, she always said to me, she said, we're making the lessons tough by our own to total reaction to them or action we take in them. And if we look at it as the destiny the lesson is coming and the free will is how we're going to learn it. Are we going to learn it in an accepting, progressive manner and allow ourselves to know the outcome is good? Or are we going to create a lesson? We have chosen that lesson. And then we create the outcome as being something very rough and bumpy in our lives when we are the creators and we're in need of that lesson. And if we look at things in life in a sense of we're needing to learn and accept and go with that flow, we're going to have the calmness and harmony and it's going to work exceptionally well. And I find, as my grandmother told me, put your hand in Jesus' hand, Jesus will guide you. My father referred to it as all guts and no brains. <laughs> because there were things happening in my life and in my childhood that I trusted and I felt confident in things that other people wouldn't. And I look at that at times and I look back at it and I think, you know, there was a few things there that was like really a little over the edge. But I had the trust that I could do it. And I had no problem doing it, and it was a wonderful outcome, and I felt relieved after the outcome because it really did work. But in a sense of trusting, how many times do we pray for things, but we pray from worry, and we pray from, uh, let's say, a fear of the outcome? And to recognize in ourselves that we're going to make it through whatever it is, however big, however supposedly bad, however... Um, turmoil than it may be, we're going to move through it. And I look at it in this form. I look at the end result of, we'll move through the lesson. In what way are we going to accept that lesson, allow that lesson to be the peacefulness that it always meant to be? You know, I remember experiencing that 11 years old, I died three times in a week. I went through the tunnel of light. I spoke to Jesus. I spoke to my grandmother. She was in spirit at that time. And I remember her saying to me as I stood across the river, she said, Gregory, come here. Now, when she was in the living, if she said, Greg, no big deal. But if she said, Gregory, you better sharpen up. <laughs> and it was like, okay, I'm listening. And she said, come to me. And I walked across the river. And as I walked across the river, part of my mind was going, you're walking on water. And a part of my mind was going, but this is amazing. Now, how amazing a life if we can bring that kind of trust into our conscious bodies, conscious mind, and conscious world, and allow it to be a part of us that we can fulfill that belief, that faith, that trust. If we can allow that to be in our minds and hearts all the time, how much are we going to accomplish and bypass that has been, some people would refer, refer to it as negative, but I look at it as something that are we choosing turmoil or are we choosing harmony? And no matter how much turmoil we sometimes consciously view things in, we really have the harmony within us and allow ourselves to go with that harmony without question. 
without having to sit back in fear or a hesitation in walking forward. You know, I remember the old statement I've heard different people say, you know, what angels fear to tread. Well, my, my father looked at me out of the, he was sitting in a, a lounge chair, uh, you know, outdoor chair, and I rode my bicycle across the wall that was 10 feet from the ground. And it was about that wide. And I rode the bicycle about 40 feet across the wall, and I come back onto the, onto the upper, upper yard. And he's sitting there hanging out in the chair. And he's just shaking his head. And my mother comes out and she says, Gene, he does that every day. What are you worried about? <laughs> if he believes it, he believes it. There's no problem. And now, I find as an adult, I sometimes think about I could get hurt, you know? <laughs> get a little older here. But it's like, there's that feeling I always had of, when you step into that trust, and you feel that faith of knowing it's all right, no matter what you're doing, it is all right. And let's take that to heart and bring it into our conscious mind and the physical body in our daily life. And bring it in in a way that we can be blessed by it. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you.